2020 was completely washed out by COVID-19. Now, finally, with a lot of effort from number of countries, number of scientists, we have some ray of hope in the form of the vaccines coming up. In fact, we all know that UK became the first country actually to give emergency permission for Pfizer to vaccinate its population. And they have already started vaccinating the frontline population since the last couple of weeks. Finally, in 2021, the whole world is looking forward to move out of their houses and be a bit more resilient to this deadly virus, which is basically caused havoc to us. So what are these vaccines and what are the vaccines which are going to be available for us in India? So vaccine essentially is a injection or a spray or a drop which brings out a small amount of reaction in your body which helps our body's immunity to produce some form of a fighter cells what we call as antibodies against a particular organism. So in this case a number of researchers have come out with different types of vaccines which when injected or given as a spray nasal spray to the humans will actually mimic a mild COVID type of an infection or would cause such changes in their uh, immune system that it would actually trigger up a build up and build up of antibodies in the patients. Now there are three or four main vaccines and the types of vaccines which have been talked about. Now the first technology which already has now been used in UK as I said previously is the mRNA technology. The two companies which are doing it and producing the mRNA vaccine are Pfizer and Moderna. Now, Pfizer already has uh, started vaccinating in UK and Moderna has now got an emergency approval in US as well. So US FDA have, have approved that. And of course Pfizer has been approved in US as well. Now what's an mRNA? mRNA M stands for the messenger RNA. And mRNA vaccine essentially means that you are going to have a, a sort of a reaction in your messenger gene which will change the way the body becomes uh, reactive to the COVID-19 and thereby that change will bring out antibodies against the COVID-19 and this is how the mRNA vaccine basically is going to work. Uh, that's very very layman term which I'm talking about. Now this technology is so new that we don't have any other example of a viral vaccine of this technology. And that's why there is a lot of apprehension people had about this mRNA technology because as I said, it's actually going to change some of your immune response which you actually are supposed to have against a particular virus. And people were saying that you may actually have um, a genetic change to your makeup uh, of your genes or, or you may have a permanent change in your genes or something like that. And I think all those fears are unfound for. The vaccine seems to have gone through enough safety data and there is no reason for us to actually believe any of these rumors that the vaccine basically may cause a lot more harm than any good. The next vaccine which is the, the vaccine of the world which all of us are looking for and probably India would be the country where we would be getting that is the vaccine which AstraZeneca, Oxford and our own uh, uh, Poonawala's uh, Serum Institute of India is actually producing and that vaccine, the Oxford vaccine is basically a vector based vaccine. A vector based vaccine, there are a number of examples of vector based vaccine. So we know that the technology is not new and the examples are Ebola vaccine, Zika vaccine or Dengue vaccine. These are the three which are vector based vaccines. I think this would be the vaccine which probably would get the permission in India first and this would be the vaccine which we are all going to be looking at because the Pfizer one, the mRNA one requires a minus 70 degree storage compulsorily which is a large amount of strain on the infrastructure whereas the vector based vaccines usually just require a normal refrigerator to basically store these vaccines. Now I would think that in the month of January either the first or second week we should be seeing the vaccine approvals come through because the government of India is waiting for the safety data from Bharat Biotech which is another one which is actually producing a vaccine, a vector based vaccine and the Oxford one. Of course there is the Sputnik vaccine which is again a vector based vaccine from you from Russia and I think they are also in the queue to actually seek for emergency permission whenever they apply for it. 
So we will probably be seeing a vector-based vaccine coming to us uh, shortly in the next few weeks or so. Now, what's going to be the vaccination plan for the Indians? Vaccination plan for the Indians is going to be that we probably are going to vaccinate a core of around 30 to 40 crore individuals. In the first phase, healthcare workers, which includes doctors, nurses, paramedical staff, people working in the hospital, coming in contact with the patients, are going to be the ones who are actually going to receive the vaccine first. Followed by the other frontline workers like municipal workers, cleaners, uh, policemen, paramilitary forces and military forces which would be the next one to actually get in and parallelly the second round would be people who are elderly and who have comorbidities and then would come the people who are below 50 and who have comorbidities so i think that's going to be the plan to actually vaccinate the people in india my personal appeal to everyone is in, in strength of public health everyone should get vaccinated whether or not you had COVID or you didn't have COVID, even if you had COVID, the vaccine will only add on to the antibodies, would not cause any harm. And obviously, if you've not had COVID, you don't want to be left out. Thank you very much.